What's up guys, my name is Adapt and welcome back to another formation review on the channel. So in today's video we are going to be reviewing the 4231 wide variation. So I did go ahead and get the gameplay with this formation in Foot Champions about two weeks ago now. So this formation is kind of outdated for me. I can't remember a lot from it. I'm gonna have to think about how this formation played and have a look back at the gameplay and then bring you guys a really good formation review. But I still kept the squad saved and I have the custom tactics and the play instruction saved. Some of the players, when Yamaha are put into another SBC, same with Delph and in the DM position where this guy is, I had Kuyute right there as well. So I use some of the players in this squad in an SBC, so some of them may have zero games played on them, that is why. So in goal I had Pickford, you know, you guys can see the squad, the types of players you want to be using. For DMs, I'll go for a shorter, quicker player, and then I'd have one tall, great player at man marking. So this is the squad we have put together. I'm going to show you guys the custom tactics and the player instructions really quickly. Striker went for Bamiang because he's quite quick, he can get in behind and he's going to be isolated up top. So I need someone with a lot of pace to beat defenders. Then I've got Hazard here because he's a beast as well. And then Lucas is great, he's got a lot of pace. And then De Bruyne is a great playmaker as well. Wanyama and this other guy, they're both decent DMs, they played quite decent in champs. Obviously I had Kyute instead of this guy. And I can't remember who I had in the left back position, but I think I did have Delph. And this defense wasn't too bad as well. So now let's get into the custom tactics. Let's get into the player instructions. So for defensive style, we have press after possession loss. Width haven't got it turned up too high. Depth, I kind of left out where it was at. Then for offensive style, we have possession. Width, I turned it up by quite a bit. Players in the box didn't turn it up too much. Corners and free kicks left them both on free bars. I'll get into the instructions. We have both fullbacks on stable or attacking. I have man mark and stable or attacking on both of my DMs. Obviously, if you had someone like Kante, a smaller guy, you'd have cut passing lanes and stable or attacking on one of them, and you'd have man mark and stable or attacking on the other guy. Then on Lucas, cut inside and getting behind. Same with Hazard, and then for De Bruyne, stay forward, and then Abamyang, I've got him on getting behind. So, guys, those are the custom tactics, those are the player instructions. Now, let's get into the gameplay. So getting into the gameplay, with this formation, it surprised me quite a lot. Um, I looked at it again and I was like, this formation allowed me to play really good possession. I could keep the ball, play kind of slowly, my cam would help out Aubameyang quite a lot. And it's good for you guys who like to play slow build up play and wait to seize the right opportunity. I was causing a lot of problems, winning a lot of penalties. And it was just great for me, the defence as well, if you're not as confident in your attacking abilities, this is a great formation for you. If you're not as aggressive, like to play slow build up, this formation is for you. You can also counter attack with it, your left mid and your right mid support your attacker most of the time. If you get a quick attacker, that would be great for you, someone like Aubameyang that we're using in this formation because he's just extremely overpowered and he can just run past my opposition's defenders. You guys are seeing me win a lot of penalties as well, managing to score goals from that. You guys are seeing the types of teams I'm coming up against. Now, you guys can see the coins on the screen right now. I can't remember what they were, but I did write them down. It was something about the striker getting outnumbered. That can happen at times. Um, if you're an aggressive player and you like to play really quick FIFA, is this the most um, efficient formation for you guys? I don't really think so. This is a formation for people who like to take their time, who like to play down the wings and the centre. I was just waiting to seize the right opportunity to get in and score a goal. Now you guys are seeing my wingers managing to get in on the act as well. My cam, maybe there are a lack of attacking midfielders in this formation, but if you're willing to sacrifice that for having more defensive security at the back, that's the advantage that comes with it, you know. With every good thing, you're kind of sacrificing something else. You guys are seeing me square a lot of balls to players, scoring a lot of tap-ins and stuff like that. My cam did push up, De Bruyne did push up quite a bit, and I managed to score quite a little bit of goals like that. And my players did support Aubameyang most of the time. As you guys can see, De Bruyne scoring goals, my wingers are scoring goals, even the DMs sometimes are managing to score goals. Everyone's getting involved. 
So overall, I would give this formation an 8 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. This gameplay isn't that long. Um, I did get quite a bit of highlights, but I ran out of space on my USB stick, so I did lose a bit of the gameplay. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Peace.